So it is right now 6.24 and uh, Ezra gets up at the crack of dawn and gets up here. I was up here editing a video for today and uh, little, little man comes up the hill, comes up the, up the hill, up the stairs. Anyway, working on uploading a video for today and then it's on for a new one. Thanks for being here. Apples and some blackberries. <gasps> Yo, he likes it. Hitting up a little ten-minute walk this morning, uh, but last night on the way here it was late. Everybody was asleep, and on my GPS I saw we passed this road called Old Three Knots Road, <laughs> the Old Three Knots Road, and of course I got to thinking like I always do, and I was thinking about like the three notches of life like if i had to tell ezra tomorrow like these three things you need for life what would they be and uh here's what it's kind of been my it's for a little while i've been thinking through this uh dream choose live dream choose live and let me let me break those down for you right here in the next few minutes uh dream like everything starts with a dream every single uh, invention all these houses right here started with a dream the, the word says where there is no vision the people perish like you, you have to have a dream you have to have a picture in your mind's eye of where you're going and that sets the tone for everything else uh kai green he's a bodybuilder he, he he said that your your dream your goal is set the vision for everything else and that's true your, your goal is set the tone for everything else if you don't have a big enough dream you won't you don't have a you don't have anything you're living for. You don't have anything you're chasing after. You don't have any any lofty goal that you have out front. So, man, I want to encourage you, whoever you might be watching this, wherever you might be, dream, dream big, uh, dream, dream incredible dreams, dream dreams that you, you you don't even think are possible. Don't settle for small little ideas. Dream big, like like just look the the stars in the sky and just let that cause you to dream big dreams have a big vision for where you want to go with your life dream big is the is the number one thing um that i would say hey the first thing you gotta have in life is a dream once you have a dream then we move on to the next so after we dream big then we choose choose wisely so if you have it depends on your dream this, this can be applied to every area of your life if you want to get in shape you have this idea you have this this vision for the body that you're going to chase after right then you have to choose wisely you simply make your choices based on your vision if you don't have a vision you don't have anything to guide you you don't have anything to set your your standard so if you want to get in shape then obviously you make choices nutritionally you make choices good choices when it comes to what you're putting in your body you make good choices about exercise you know instead of sitting at home right now uh i decided i was gonna take this little walk and so once you have the uh the big big go hey guys how are y'all good morning uh, once you have have your lofty dream then you choose wisely you simply make choices that line up with that and when I was uh, I'll just give you another example like when I was a teenager and this this is for any teenager out there you know I was in the pursuit of purity I wanted to I wanted to save myself for my future wife and I didn't know when that was gonna be but I had a big dream I was dreaming big so what I had to do is come back down to where I am now and make choices now that are gonna get me to that big vision so, you know, it wasn't always easy. I was not always perfect, but I did the best I could and made, made choices based on that dream. If I never had that dream, it would have changed the choices that I made. I would have made different choices, perhaps bad choices because I didn't have a dream. Uh, and so the, first you have your dream, your vision, and then you make your choices that line up with it. If you want to make all A's, teenagers, great vision. What are you doing today? Are you studying today? Are you 
are you choosing to skip the game so that you can study? Um, there's, there, we could go in a million directions. Do you want to start a business? Okay. Did you buy your domain online yet? Did you did you uh, did you come up with your name? Have you been thinking about what you're going to offer? Okay. Well, you gotta have your big dream, and then you come back down to where you are right now. Dreaming is a is an interesting thing because it's just dreaming, but the the choosing is in the doing. So there's a difference in dreamers and doers. I want you to dream, but then you gotta come back down to where you are now and do. You gotta make choices that line up with that. If you're not, if your choices that you're making aren't lining up with your big vision, then you're gonna find yourself. Your self-esteem is low, your confidence is low, because you know in your heart you got this dream, but you're not making choices that match up with it. So you gotta make sure your choices and your dream match up. And so the third piece is live. <laughs> dream, choose, live. When you have the big dream and you're making good choices that match up with uh, your dream, then you can live freely. You live without regret. The, the people who are having so much regret is because they're making their choices and they're having to suffer the consequences of their choices, but they're, they don't match, uh, they don't match their dream. And so they're making, they have this big dream that this is who I want to be, but then they make bad choices. So then they feel guilty and they have this regret. For instance, in the purity example that I just shared, you know, if I said, I want to stay pure and I make choices um, that don't line up with that, the guilt, the regret, the shame that I know I'm not living up to my dream. And so this is huge because we, we have a generation of people who are walking around and they're not, they're, they're not living up to what their dream is. So they're walking around depressed. They're walking around, they're using uh, substances to try to, to try to mask this guilt and regret shame that they have in their life and so my encouragement to any young person anybody in general is and and part of this vlog is because i want ezra to see this in 10 years whenever whenever he's ready see it and, and see some of the things some of my thoughts on life uh, i want him to have big dreams make good choices that line up with those dreams and then he can live freely. He doesn't have to live wondering, am I telling the truth? Do people do people really know me? Am I am I lying? When you're when you're not telling when you're lying to somebody, it's hard to live freely, right? It's hard because you know in the back of your mind you're trying to keep up with who you lied to, what, who you told what to. But when you're living out your true dream, your dream that God gave you, by the way, you got a dream. You're making choices that line up with his principles and with the dream that he gave you. And then you can live freely. You walk in peace. It talks about the peace that surpasses all understanding. We're walking in peace because we're, we're, we're walking out the dream and living, uh, making good choices that line up with our dream. And I hope that all makes sense to you, what I just told you today. And I'll, I'll close that out here in just one second. So to, to close out this thought, dream big. You have a big vision. You got a big goal. So you got, in your mind's eye, you got a big picture of where you want to go. You, uh, you know, and your and your dreams can change through the years. So, you know, for instance, when I was, at, but but as long as you keep this framework, dream, choose, live, you're gonna be fine. Uh, when I was uh, young, I wanted to be a major league baseball player. So what I had the dream. So my choices were. Hey, practice is over. Everybody's going home. Maybe I should stay and get a few extra swings. I fell in love with working out because I wanted to get stronger uh, so that I could be better in the sport. And, you know, as time goes on, you realize, okay, maybe I'm not as good as I used to be. Maybe God's got different plans for me, but I still have the framework of dream, choose, live. So then I'm like, okay, one day I want to write a book. That's the dream. So then I make choices, wake up every day, put in the time, effort, and energy at the computer, typing out my book. And then I can live freely knowing I gave everything. Uh, once the book arrived in my, and I got it in my hand, I'm like, dude, this is awesome. Hey, by the way, if you want to write a book, I have a, a program that I just created, buildmybook.net. You can check it out. But um, dream, choose, live. Dream, choose, live. Um, 
And so, look, the, 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 the dream may change through the years. As long as you keep that framework, all right, well, I got a big dream. Now what do I do? You need to act according to your dream. So many people get to the end of their life and they look back and they go, wow, I once wanted to write a book. I once wanted to compete in a bodybuilding competition and get in, get in the best shape of my life. But I never took the time. I never made the, the choices. I didn't choose wisely. And now they look back with regret. And so my encouragement to your friend is, Dream big, choose wisely, live freely. You'll look back one day and be glad you did. Hey, be great. See you soon. Look at the water. It's gorgeous. Look how they got everybody marked off where you can only be so close. That's smart. That's good. Pretty good that people down there. Got your little pink hat on. How's that going? How you feeling? How you feeling with your pink hat on? What are you kicking my foot? What are you kicking my hand for? Can I ask you something? How many? Ugh. How <laughs> many oranges? Don't do that. How many oranges have you eaten? One. One? You bet how many grapes did you eat? Five. <laughs> you are gonna be a fruit head. Red, how many grapes did you eat? Three. Three? Four? Four? Five. Five. How many? Six. Oh, you're Seven. kidding. like driver Miss Daisy.